Hello friends, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel here. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Today I am sharing a Valentine's tag flip video. Um, I'm starting off by taking some of these um, journaling cards and I'm using the Rosie Studio Unconditional Collection. And so I'm just picking out some cards to use as my tags. So they won't necessarily be um, tag shape, but um, they're just layered cards and I call it a tag flip. So there we go. Um, so before we start the video, I just wanted to invite you to uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I do some behind the scenes things. I also have a Patreon where I post extra videos and I have a shop where I sell sequin mixes and tassel charms and some fun things like that. So um, feel free to join all of my pages. All of the links are down below and um, I hope you find a place that you like um, to hang out. And also I'm on TikTok, but I also post my TikToks to Instagram as reels. So if you're on Instagram, you won't miss out on the TikTok stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so I am about to start decorating and then I realized that I need to sew these. So I sew them and that helps just give it a little something extra. And that blue card with the floral wreath was kind of easy to embellish because I just put that um, layered sticker in the middle of it and I think it looks fine just like that. So some of them will be simple like that and then others will be um, a little bit more interesting with layers and embellishments and things. Um, but yeah, so I love these like layered stickers with the flo flowers and everything. I could have used these up so fast, but I took my time because um, I didn't want to go through the pack so fast. So I could have used them on every single page, but I tried to resist. I tried my very best. Um, but they're so pretty and that's something I wish I would have gotten to of, but... How was I supposed to know? Um, so yeah, I'm uh, the embellishment pack in this collection is amazing. Um, it has two of every single piece. So um, if there's something you love, then you can hoard one of them if that's you and use the other one. I know there's a lot of us who like to hoard um, our favorite pieces of collection. So this uh, allows you to do that without... The guilt of using one of them on a project. Come on, some of you know what I'm talking about, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with making this tag flip. I'm a part of a really fun swap this year. Actually, I'm doing a couple Valentine swaps. So one of them I'm doing is a, um, it's called Secret Cupid Swap, and we've been doing it for probably about four years now. And usually what we do or what we've been doing the past couple years is there are 14 items on the list and you are to um, send the 14 items. You don't have to follow the list to a T, but uh, it just gives guidelines and you send 14 items and it's kind of like Secret Santa where the person you're sending to is different than the person that you're receiving from. However, this year we did do partners because shipping can be a little unpredictable and I just want the communication to be there in case there are things that might go wrong or whatever. So this year we're doing partners and yeah, so that's one of the swaps I'm doing. One of my favorites, well, it is my favorite swap of the year. And then another swap I'm doing is with my friend Cheryl and we're actually doing like a sequin mix and t a tassel charm advent calendar. It's going to be so amazing. We're doing 14 days, seven charms and seven sequin mixes, unique mixes and charms and we're going, going to send them to one another and have like an advent calendar. It's going to be really, really cool. So those are some swaps I'm doing this year. And then I'm trying to send out a few uh, packages to some friends for like Valentine's Day. But I don't know if I'll get them out in time. <laughs> I have so much uh, right now that I don't know if that, that will be the case. But we will see. Now, for this one, I kind of wish I would have made it like a shaker or something because that would have been so much cooler, but I did not think of that at the time, so it's fine. Um, but I love how that card turned out that I just finished. I love the layers. I think it looks really cute. Um, and I love that I get to use up some of these 
uh, journaling cards that maybe aren't ones that I would use easily. Um, I do Project Life pages sometimes, but not a lot. Um, I don't do it week by week. I just do it when like I have an event that has lots of photos or a week that has lots of photos or a month that has lots of photos that don't really deserve like a full <laughs> layout. They will go in um, like pocket pages. So um, yeah, so it's good to use up these journaling cards in other ways. Um, I've also made like little mini books out of these cards, which are great. You can just like punch holes and put little rings in them and that's really easy. So there are different ways you can use these cards. In this set, these are double-sided and there are two of each, which I think is fantastic. And there are some that are horizontal and some that are vertical. So um, I find the uh, horizontal ones a little bit more difficult to use. Um because I don't have a lot of page protectors that are that size and go that way, if that makes sense. So the vertical ones are easier for me to use because I have more page protectors that go that way. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so that's why I tried to use the other ones uh, in this as, as much as I could, the one that I did before this one, the one that's in the top left corner, you can actually kind of see the, the journaling lines. They look like they're up and down now, but I could try to cover them enough where you couldn't tell that it was a journaling card. Um, I love these little layered, like, I don't even know what they're called, like little layered tag kind of things, but they have the gold glitter on the bottom and then a little word on top and like ribbon that ties it together. I think they're really cute um, and such a cool piece in this collection. This is, um, I'm not like affiliated with them or anything. This was actually my first time purchasing from them and it was really great because if you spend over $50, um, you get free shipping anywhere in the world, which is amazing because uh, that doesn't happen a lot to us Canadians. <laughs> if you're in Canada, free shipping, that almost does not exist. Um, <laughs> so that was really, really cool. And uh, what else did I have to say about that? Um, what else? I wanted to say the free shipping. Oh yeah, it came really, really fast. I have no idea how and why, but it came within a couple of days, I think, if I remember correctly. It came really quick. I don't remember how quick, but I just remember it came so fast. And I'm pretty sure it comes from China. I don't 100% know, but um, all I remember is that I was surprised at how fast it came. And each of the products come with a lot of stuff inside. I mean, there's a few that I wish were bigger, but only because I love it that much. But like the ephemera pack is huge, like over 150 items. Um, what else? Um, I can't even remember all the products right now, but yeah, it's really great value, I find. Um, so I was really excited about that, and I hope um, more stores start stocking these products because they're really great. Um, and I'm sure they will because I think they're a smaller company company right now, but I do think they're growing. So that's really cool. Um, I just use a doily from my stash on here, kind of make it look like cutesy. And gonna add some florals and uh, just gonna add more layers. When you do tag flips, you can also do things like add pockets and envelopes to put gifts inside for your pen pal or whoever you're sending it to. That's normally like what um, I used to do at least, but now I do more embellishing on my tag flips where I used to do more like, like belly bands kind of things and the new stuff gifts inside I used to do more of that kind of stuff but now I just do it more embellished so whatever do whatever way you want you can do a bit of both as well um which I should try and keep in mind more often when I'm doing these to remember to include like a little envelope or something because I don't know my head just sometimes thinks too much about the embellishments and less about the gifts so I gotta try and keep that in mind in the future Although something pretty to look at is not a bad thing either. <laughs> um, if you've seen like my posts on Instagram and stuff, uh, in my craft room I have this big inspiration wall where I put so many of the beautiful things that people send me, uh, like pen pals and stuff, uh, in the mail and hang them on this wall because it, they're just so beautiful and I have to remember all of these beautiful things that people have created for me. So um, I have a 
a wall of all of these different creations and I just love it. It's one of my favorite things in my craft room. Um, I actually, I think I have a reel and a TikTok that shows that um, on my Instagram and my TikTok. If you want to check that out and see a little bit into my craft room, it's a really fun space. At least I find it fun. I mean, there's still so much more I could do in that space, but um, it's just actually in the past couple months that we have started to um, use more than just hand-me-downs in my craft room. It's just not somewhere that I've prioritized to spend money investing into making it look cute um, and fun. Um, I've just used like hand-me-down tables and thrifted things, but I spend so much time in there that um, I've started to use some of the money I've made from my sales from my sequin mix shop and Patreon to start to make it a space that is really lovely. So I am grateful for that. And um, I added like some kitchen cabinet kind of things um, in my craft room and um, I bought a chair for my craft room. I was just using like a folding chair before, like truly I was using like the bare minimum. So that's awesome now that I have like a real chair. So yeah, that's been fun. I would love to know down below what your craft space looks like if it's just a desk or maybe it's just a box. I used to just have a box of stuff and bring it to my dining room table whenever I wanted to craft. And that's okay too, whatever way you can make it work. Anyway, back to my project. I could go on and on talking about that apparently, but um, I added a little tassel charm. Um, this is not one from my shop because this video was made before I opened um, or added tassel charms to my shop, but now I have lots more that I could have added instead. Um, and I added a little piece of ephemera Apparently that one didn't fit. Oh yes, no, I add, I added a different one. Now I remember. Yep. Because that other one was not fitting properly, but this one does. So there we go. Um, we'll do a little flip through, but I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, now it's in like real time, but it feels like slow-mo because uh, the other part was sped up times two. This one's my favorite. I think that one is my favorite with the layered flowers. Anyway, thank you for watching. All links are down below and have a great day. Bye.